Good evening, everyone. I'm Kate Baldwin, in for Aaron Burnett. Welcome to a special edition of Out Front. Tona Out Front tonight, Trump fumes. The president railing against his attorney general, yes, again, this time for apparently not considering politics before the indictments of two Republican congressmen, two men who were some of Trump's earliest supporters, tweeting, and there's a lot here, so follow me, Two long-running Obama-era investigations of two very popular Republican congressmen were brought to a well-publicized charge just ahead of the midterms by the Jeff Sessions Justice Department. Two easy wins now in doubt because there is not enough time. Good job, Jeff. A quick refresher for you. Those two congressmen, Chris Collins of New York, charged with insider trading, and Duncan Hunter of California, charged with using hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaign funds to pay for things like personal trips and personal shopping sprees. Those two seats, no longer solidly Republican. Losing those seats would no doubt hurt Trump politically, and that is what it seems to have, have the president so furious today. But Please consider this. This isn't just another tweet, just another evening of Trump popping off on social media. The president is mad because the Justice Department, which is supposed to operate free of political influence or meddling, because the Justice Department is doing its job. He's mad DOJ isn't considering politics first and justice second. Remember, it was less than two weeks ago that Sessions pushed back against the president's repeated attacks, saying this. While I am attorney general, the actions of the Department of Justice will not be improperly influenced by political considerations. The fact that Sessions will not pick sides is raising now new questions about his future, especially after the president today compared his attorney general to former FBI director James Comey, tweeting, of course tweeting, here it is. The Democrats, none of whom voted for Jeff Sessions, must love him now. Same thing with lion James Comey. The Dems all hated him, wanted him out, thought he was disgusting until I fired him. Immediately, he became a wonderful man, a saint-like figure, in fact. Really sick. Until I fired him. A sign of something to come for Sessions now? Caitlin Collins is out front live at the White House for us. So, Caitlin, I do wonder with all of this, and there is a lot that the president put in those two tweets, why is the president tweeting about this today when the indictments, they're not new? That's right, they're not. But it might have to do with the president's schedule today, Kate. He had nothing public on his schedule that was sent out to reporters today, but we did see him preparing to leave the White House for an outing today, getting into the presidential motorcade and a red polo shirt and a baseball hat, typically the attire he wears when he does go golfing. But instead, as soon as the president, and you can see there, he got into the motorcade and then quickly got back out and went back into the White House where he spent the day making calls, watching television, and tweeting these attacks on Jeff Sessions. Now, these attacks were the most noteworthy of all the president's tweets because they don't follow his usual line of attack on Jeff Sessions, which typically has to do with the Russia investigation and the fact that Jeff Sessions recused himself. Instead, the president was going after him about the decisions, implying that the Justice Department should make dis decisions based on what their political consequences are going to be talking about these two Republican congressmen and saying essentially that Jeff Sessions before the Justice Department indicted them should have considered what the consequences could be for vulnerable Republicans this fall in the midterm elections before he did so. Now that's quite unusual and we haven't heard a lot of response from Capitol Hill even though it is Labor Day but we've only gotten statements from Ben Sass and Paul Ryan so far criticizing what the president said. Uh, Paul Ryan not going as far as Ben Sass did and for what he said here but Kate, what this shows is that the president's frustration with Jeff Sessions is much more widespread than just the Russia investigation, and that he's also feeling the sensitivity ahead of these midterm elections, something that could threaten his presidency if Democrats do take over Capitol Hill. But this is really stunning in and of itself, Kate, that the president is telling his attorney general that he should be making decisions at the Justice Department based on who the president's political allies are. Yeah, if there's a question before, it seems the president's making pretty clear what he thinks the role of the Justice Department is at this point. Caitlin, thanks so much.